It's time for our Mass Singer recap. We're in season 10, episode 2, and it looks, Maddie, like the format is going to be the same as it was a couple of seasons ago where they do group, group A, group B, group C. Oh, okay. I'm not a huge fan of this format because I liked it. They used to do like group A, then the next week group B, the next week group C, and then rotate so you get to see the new characters all the time. Okay. Sometimes the Mass Singer, they do group A, B, and C, but by the time you get to the finals, you forgot about group A. Um, I'm just saying, there's a lot of weeks in between. Okay, so but it's confusing. It is somewhat. Yes. Yeah, they change keep it all up the time. with to keep up with. Yeah. Um, so episode ten, season two, we saw the return of four of the singers we met last week on the premiere, plus the new wild card who was introduced. So let's start off with the characters we do know. Listen to the voice. I have to say, I love the cow's voice. Okay. Okay. I love the cow. The cow's meow. The cow's meow. Take a listen to this. You are my treasure. You are my treasure. Oh, I think I know. Good guess, Tom. I don't understand. Uh, it's in a film night. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> okay. Okay, full disclosure, forgot to mention, every episode has a theme. Okay. So this theme tonight was NFL night. All the judges are wearing their favorite jerseys from their teams. Got it. They had different football players come out and give clues. Okay. So yes, NFL night. Good catch. Okay, Good catch. do you have a guess? I do. Okay. And may, I don't know previous seasons, but I'm going to say it sounds like Neo. Great guess. Do you Just wanna... the way he goes, oh. Is that your final answer? Neo, yes. Okay, we'll find out when that person gets unmasked. Okay. Okay, I anyhow. Down. Okay, so the cow, I think, is a great voice. Uh, up next, you had seen us give our predictions this week. The diver. Yeah. Who we think might be Tom Sandoval. We don't know for sure yet, but I gotta say, I did enjoy this performance. Okay. Okay, diver. Sounds good. Yeah. Now I'm like, it can't be Tom. It doesn't sound like it. I thought it sounded great. Sounded good. Very clear. Yeah. A bit like, but. So high octave. Yeah. Here's what I don't know, because I've seen, you both, you and I both seen those TikTok videos when Scandaval broke out of him on stage singing. Yeah. He didn't sound like that to me. That's exactly where my, I'm like, well, that doesn't sound like him singing, because he's sung before and I've seen the that's clips. Why, and that's why I don't know, too, if this is pre-recorded. Because oh. when you're singing live, it sounds different than that, and that sounds yeah. more smooth. But also, without the pressure of the crowd and him trying to, like, entertain. Right. And it, it's harder on your voice and mm -hmm. you're breathing heavy. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay. But I thought it was a great performance. Yeah. So far, quality of the voices this season, yeah. Group A, nice. Uh, now we're going to move on to the gazelle, who we saw last week. Ooh, the gazelle, yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of online theories, but the online theory people, I don't know who they are. Oh. So I would tell you, but I don't remember their names. Oh, okay. Like, for instance, there's a guest. I'll tell you after we watch this, but there's a guest, and then I don't okay. remember her name, though. But Okay. okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, if oh. I gave you some an online guess, which I don't know if you would know this because I've never seen this movie, the voice of Moana? The the girl who has oh, who um, has the voice of Moana from the animated movie? Yes, I A lot of people are saying her name. I can't remember her name offhand. I can't either. But I just remember them saying that. But do you oh, have a guess? I don't. Okay. Well, I think, a li uh, is it Olivia Pearson? She's kind of like an up and coming artist. She just hasn't broke through. I think her name's Olivia Pearson. Okay. I'll have to look it up. Okay. I could be very wrong. I will say this too, on this one, I'm, I'm not a fan of Ken Jeong. I'm yeah. just not. Yeah. And 
he's always so over the top, like crazy, and then he has moments of being like super serious. On this episode, he started crying because he thought the gazelle is his friend Constance Wu from Crazy Rich Asian. Okay. Reed. Okay. And he was like, this person is a friend of mine, and I hope it's you because I love you. I was like, why are you crying? Just say it's your friend Constance Wu. Yeah, like, you don't need to be that emotional. Also, got, you're not going to find out for no. weeks to come. So. Until they're eliminated, we're not going to know. But he got very, I was like, why are you crying? You've had lots of friends on the show. That's like, tacky. I'm sorry. I, oh, we said we were in touch with our emotions earlier in the show, but. Obviously not. Ken Jong, <laughs> no, not for you. <laughs> okay, then uh, up next of the characters that we have seen, the final one we saw from premiere week is S'more. It goes like this. Take me by the tongue and I'll know you. Kiss me till you're drunk and I'll show you want the moves like Jagger. I've got the moves like Jagger. I don't need to try to control you. Look into my eyes and I'll own you with the moves like Jagger. I've got These the dancers moves are just, like that's what I'm focused on. <laughs> I the They're so good for this. And they're funny like looking. Their faces. I know. Okay, no guesses there. Okay, they're all guessing boy banders, and I don't know. I could see, though, because we never get to hear him sing solo. You know in the Backstreet Boys? Yeah. One of them, his name is Kevin, like with a mustache? Yeah! I don't and that's know. a tall per he's a tall guy. I'm well, yeah, and they keep saying, well, the s'more has a mustache, just like Kevin, like, but, but that's not. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, now we've got to get to the pickle really fast. The pickle. Oh, the pickle, my We're favorite. Out of time. Sorry, here we go. Pickle's the new character. Do we have He stands like a statue, becomes part of the machine. Feeling all the bumpers, but always playing clean. Plays by intuition, third digit kind of fall. That deaf dope and dill pickle. So plays a mean pinball. I just like the pickle cost. The cost is phenomenal. See, there's so much going on in this show, I don't focus on the singing. I'm, I'm all over. Okay, so Maddie, here we go. Okay. We had all those characters. Yes. Who should be eliminated, though? Oh, in my opinion, mm, um, we just got to meet the pickle, but I wasn't really impressed. So, well, see, I was thinking the pickle would be eliminated because the pickle was by far the worst singer. Yeah, if you're going off singing. Yeah, and some people, big celebs, do one-offs where they just come on for the one episode and they're out. Yeah, of uh, the pickle was not eliminated. Was it our guy? It was the diver. Take a uh, look. The diver. There he is. Sandoval, Vanderpump Rules, Scandoval. Uh, Scandoval. Rocked the world this past spring. Yep, there he is. Yep. And they were all very nice to him and singing his praises and oh. just giving him, which was what Tom Sandoval loves. He right, loves to be praised. Right, of course. Well, and they're not in a relationship with him, so <gasps> that's part of it. Yeah. Well, hey, he's gone, so we don't have to listen to him. We don't have to worry him. about Sandoval. No more Sandoval. Anymore. All right, coming up, Jeremy's going to show us how to make his two-ingredient, yes, two-ingredient keto cheesecake. I'm interested because I saw and I was like, that doesn't look like cheesecake to me. <laughs> but we'll taste it, so don't go anywhere.